Identity theft occurs when fraudsters obtain your personal information, and it costs victims millions of dollars every year. The list is vast, but crimes like financial fraud, tax fraud, and healthcare fraud can be the result of unprotected personal information. When a federally insured financial institution was defrauded through an act of identity theft, FBI Springfield opened an investigation. The identity theft victim shares her story as a solemn reminder that it's worth the extra effort to take steps to protect your personal information. This is Lacey's story. I didn't know initially anything was wrong. A family friend got a hold of me, had asked me why the cops were looking for me. I initially thought it was a joke, you know. I've never been in any kind of trouble, not even a seatbelt ticket. And she goes, no, there is, um, the chief of police of Oblong is looking for you. He had told me that he needed me to come into his office. Um, my name had been brought up in an investigation that he was doing. Um, I was terrified because I had never been in any kind of trouble. And he's like, no, he goes, I just think you're, you're actually a victim and not um, the person that's involved. He had pulled out a file folder, probably a good two or three inches thick, and I just got sick. And it was check after check after check. And at the bottom of the file was my driver's license. I had noticed maybe a couple days before that my wallet had been missing, but that's nothing unusual for me. I misplace a lot of things. That's when I found out that somebody had stole my wallet and everything that was inside of it. On the day of the crime, Lacey made a stop at a local retailer, leaving her wallet on the front passenger seat and the car unlocked. We live in a small town, you know, you only see this kind of stuff to me in movies and in bigger towns, you know, I felt safe here. With only a driver's license and a social security number, the criminals opened a checking account online in Lacey's name. When I went into the chief of police office in Albong, they had made purchases in like California, Kentucky, Tennessee. In the aftermath of the crime, lenders threatened to repossess Lacey's home and car. Her daughter, now 18, still struggles to get a driver's license. I can't even get a simple loan because my credit has been destroyed. I don't trust nobody. A lot of people, you know, trust has to be earned. I gave trust until you broke it. It may take a few years for everything to fall off my credit report. Identity theft can occur in a variety of ways, from online scams to something as simple as stealing a wallet. Lacey is the first to admit that it was careless to leave her personal information in such a vulnerable location. Don't think just because you live in a small town that this can't help happen to you. Remember, you are the best protector of your identity. To keep your personal information safe, follow these guidelines. Ensure websites are secure prior to submitting your credit card number. Before you trust, verify the identity of the person or organization making an offer. Never give your personal information over the phone unless you make the call store personal information in a safe place.